Hey biology friends, it's Mr. Pollard again. In this video, we will be taking a look at a photosynthesis experiment for AP Biology. This is an alternative to the classic floating leaf disc assay. Let's take a look at the materials you will be using to set up the experiment. I boiled water a day before doing the experiment to remove dissolved gases, including carbon dioxide. Sodium bicarbonate solutions ranging from 0 to 4% in 0.5% increments were made by adding baking soda to 500 milliliters of degassed water. We will start the experiment by pouring about 200 milliliters of water into a 250 milliliter beaker. To set up one of the experimental test tubes, I punched out 20 discs from an ivy leaf using a hole punch. These will be transferred into a 25 milliliter graduated test tube. The easiest way to transfer the leaf discs is to hold them in the palm of a cupped hand and scoop them with the test tube. The next step is to pour liquid into the test tube, filling it to the top. You can use your index finger to cover the opening of the test tube, then invert it and transfer it into the beaker, making sure the open end is under water before removing your finger. This step can be repeated for any additional test tubes which use the same concentration of baking soda. The steps will be repeated for all tested solutions of baking soda from 0 to 4% in 0.5% increments. Once all of the test tubes are set up, they can be placed in a tray and moved to a sunlit window or placed under grow lights. The leaf discs will show evidence of oxygen production within a few minutes, but will continue to create oxygen for 24 to 48 hours. All right, we're back with an update on the leaf discs to see how they're doing in the different solutions. They've been under the grow lights now for about 24 hours. This one, which was our negative control, uh, has only water in it, and we can see that that is still the case. We aren't seeing evidence of photosynthesis taking place in the leaves that were in the water that had all of the carbon dioxide removed. This beaker contains liquid that has sodium bicarbonate at a 1% level. So we can see that the test tube that has water only, this one right here, we have really no evidence of anything changing. So in this tube, we see evidence of photosynthesis. There is an air pocket that has formed. The gas that has collected here is oxygen. This was formed as water molecules were split uh, during the process of the light reaction. And looking across the other samples, you can definitely see evidence of photosynthesis. There's bubbles being generated by these leaf discs and the levels of oxygen that have been produced so far vary from one solution of sodium bicarbonate to the others the amount of oxygen that's being generated is not the same in the different sodium bicarbonate solutions. We'll come back after 24 hours and take a final look at the test tubes to see how much oxygen the leaf discs were able to generate. Thanks for watching. To learn more about photosynthesis, check out the video here.